Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Coding Interview Must Know series. Today, we're looking at a classic math interview problem, the happy number. Here's the idea. You're given a positive integer. You repeatedly replace it with the sum of the squares of its digits. If it eventually becomes 1, it's called a happy number. If it ends up in a loop, it's not. Let's look at two examples. Take 19. First, 1 squared plus 9 squared equals 82. Next, 8 squared plus 2 squared equals 68. Then, 6 squared plus 8 squared gives 100. Finally, 1 plus 0 plus 0 equals 1. Since it reaches 1, 19 is a happy number. Now consider 4. 4 squared is 16, then 37. Next, 58, 89, 145, 42, 20, and back to 4. It enters a fixed loop and never reaches 1, so 4 is not a happy number. How can we tell if a number will enter a loop? The most straightforward method is to use a hash set to record the numbers we've seen. Each time we calculate a new sum of squares, if it's already in the set, we know a loop has formed, so the number is not happy. If we ever reach 1, it's happy. The Python implementation is simple. First, write a function to split a number into digits and calculate the sum of their squares. In the main function, create a set called scene, then use a while loop to update the current number. If it equals 1, return true. If it's in scene, return false. Otherwise, add it to scene and continue. The time complexity is roughly O log n, because the number shrinks quickly with each step. Space complexity is also O log n, as the set only stores a limited number of intermediate results. There's also a more elegant approach using the fast and slow pointer technique, also known as Floyd's cycle detection. Each sum of squares transformation forms a chain, just like a linked list. We use two pointers. Slow moves one step at a time, fast moves two steps. If fast reaches one first, the number is happy. If fast and slow meet, a loop exists, so it's not happy. This method also runs in O log n time, since the number of digits decreases rapidly and it converges in at most logarithmic steps. The space complexity drops to O1, requiring no extra storage, which makes it perfect to demonstrate in an interview.